All right, so today we are actually gonna be talking about something that's been on my mind for a little while now. And considering I talked about the one, I might as well talk about the other. And today, that is gonna be the Canon EOS R6. The Canon EOS R6 has been around for the past three years, and it came out the same time as the Canon EOS R5. The Canon EOS R6 literally sports the same exact uh, sensor as the 1DX Mark III. It has a Digic X processor, 12 frames a second mechanical shutter, and even sports 20 frames a second in electronic shutter, up to 60 frames a second in 4K. It shoots 1080, 120, and it has 10-bit 422. It also sports C-Log3 and C-Log1. H.265 10-bit 422 codec actually helps render a really clean image compared to even 8-bit from the EOS R. Drawbacks that I find with this camera in particular is the fact that it overheats. We're gonna get this out of the way. The overheating in this camera is something that's not really liked by many people and I thought it would fix it with the firmware update. However, it didn't and I'm a little bit upset about that. But other than video though, this camera is an exceptional photo camera. Low light capabilities through the roof. And honestly, I couldn't ask for a better setup. Obviously pairing it with a proper lens like a 51.2, 24.1.4, 85.1.2, 100mm, basically any prime that has a really low aperture or even a zoom, you're looking at something that is an incredible low light camera. In fact, the ISO capabilities on this camera actually trump a lot of the other ones in its class. If you're shooting short form content for video, definitely. And if you want a really solid photo camera, definitely get this. This Canon R6 t tends to be overshadowed by Canon R6 Mark II, and that's kind of unfortunate considering that it has exceptional specs. Custom functions on this camera, unfortunately, are not available for video customization, but it is available for photo customization. Since the release of the Mark II, you're gonna get a lot more of these available considering that they have gone down in price. Yes, they're still high compared to what they are for other cameras, but this is an exceptional deal right here. Love this camera. I wouldn't be hard done by to recommend this camera to anybody. As long as, like I said, you're shooting short form content and video, but as a photo primary first, this camera is fantastic. But don't be discouraged because it is a powerhouse in itself. This camera will pull through anything. I'll even show some images on screen because I really think that you guys need to see them. Comparing it with my R, it is a mean, mean setup. So a lot of you might ask me, would I recommend this camera for 2023? And my answer is yes. It's been a great time, guys, and I hope you really liked my video, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Don't forget to like, sh subscribe, turn on the bell notifications for all the analytics that I can see, and for you guys to come follow me. I'd love that. All right, take care, peace. It has a Digic X processor. It has 12 frames from a second. The Canon EOS R, sorry. Mm -hmm.